guys, uh, sexual uh, transmitted infections can also come about. So infections such as chlamydia, gonorrhea, HPV can be transmitted through the, through the sexual, transmitter, uh, sexual contact. So to help these uh, complications, such as uh, these ones, uh, the discomfort and also long-term effects like infertility is very key at the end of the day. And intended pregnancies, where pregnancy resulting from unprotected sexual activity, uh, can bring about emotional, financial, and lifestyle changes, and potentially uh, impact or personal or uh, by the person or a personal life of the individual. Hormonal imbalances, conditions uh, like uh, what we call polycystic ovarian syndrome, can be or PC, PCOC or thyroid disorders that can affect hormonal levels is also another thing which can lead to regular menstrual cycle, mood swings and fertility issues. Relationship issues is also another thing where strains or conflicts in a relationship due to sexual dissatisfaction uh, or health problems can affect emotional intimacy and also overall relationship uh, stability at the end of the day. So uh, psychological issues also can come in as a complication where anxiety, depression, or low self-esteem related to sexual concerns can affect the mental health and can also exacerbate the sexual health uh, problems. Chronic pelvic uh, pain can also be there. Persistent pain in the pelvic region can interfere with the daily activities and also sexual function. This can reduce quality of life and also sexual satisfaction at the end of the day. Number nine is about reduced uh, fertility. Issues with conception due to underlying health problems or sexual health issues can challenge the achieving one and achieving pregnancies and also potential emotional stress at the end of the day. It is increased risk for certain cancers. So uh, cancers such as cervical or uh, breast cancer, uh, which are related to uh, sexual health issues, or STIs requires medical treatment which can affect the overall health. Decreased quality of life, overall decline in well-being and life satisfaction due to unsolved sexual health uh, issues can impact a personal happiness, relationship and also functioning. Social isolation is also another thing where withdrawal from social, uh, social or sexual activities due to embarrassment or health concerns can lead to loneliness and further mental issues. Chronic fatigue or persistent tiredness often related to health problems affect the sexual health at the end of the day. This reduces the energy levels and impacts the overall quality of life. So poor management of sexual health can lead to a variety of complications affecting the physical, emotional well-being and also relationship. Address sexual concerns productively through regular medical care, uh, health lifestyle choices and also open communication can help one to prevent this complication and uh, support the overall quality. So on the prevention part of uh, sexual health complications for women is very key, where we always encourage that uh, to prevent complication related to sexual health uh, 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 health issues uh, as a proactive thing. This includes lifestyle changes, regular medical care, and effective communication. Some of the, the strategies you can prevent this sexual health complication for women. Number one is about regular health checkups. Schedule your routine gynecological exams, including pap smear, uh, breast exams, and STIs uh, screening. Uh, that's very key because all detection and management of these issues, including infection and reproductive health conditions, can be handled at that, uh, at that level. Number two is about prevention strategies, about uh, safe sexual practices by use of condoms or barrier methods to prevent the sexually transmitted infections and unintended pregnancies. This reduces the risk of uh, STIs and also supports reproductive health at the end of the day. Health lifestyle choices, we want especially from the diet, eat balanced diet from fruits, vegetables, whole grains and lean uh, proteins and this should be taken in moderation uh, to, because they, and also Engage in regular physical activities to support the overall uh, well-being of your high health and also uh, the functioning of your heart or cardiovascular function. Aim for seven uh, to nine hours of quality sleep per night to maintain overall well-being. Stress management is also another key where you practice relaxation techniques such as meditation, yoga, uh, deep breathing exercises to manage your stress. This reduces the impact of stress on sexual health and also improves emotional well-being. 
Uh, address sexual health uh, issues early is another way. You seek medical advice if experiencing symptoms such as pain, discomfort, or sexual dysfunction. The timely intervention can prevent complications and also improve uh, sexual function. Hormonal, managing hormonal health is very key. Where you consult your healthcare provider if experiencing the symptoms related to hormonal imbalances or menopause, that's very key. To help maintain hormonal balance and alleviate the symptoms at the end of the day. So psychological support is also another thing where you consider therapy or counseling at the end of the day to help you uh, manage uh, this uh, very key uh, where you address the mental health concerns and enhance se uh, sexual well-being. Avoid substance abuse, so limit or, or avoid alcohol or recreational drugs to prevent negative effects on sexual health and also physical conditions. Educate yourself is very key. Get information like from this and as been. That's why what we are doing here. We are sharing information, and uh, this is uh, evidence based. Uh, yeah. So mind your sources where you learn about your sexual health, lifestyle, uh, lifestyle uh, changes, uh, self self practices are available treatment through uh, very reliable sources. This promotes proactive management and awareness of sexual health issues. Address relationship issues, work on resolving conflict and improving communication with your partner. This promotes proactive management and awareness of the sexual uh, health issues. So by addressing and also address the uh, by addressing these relationship issues, you improve your intimacy and also relationship uh, satisfaction. Uh, protect against injury, use appropriate protection during activities that may pose risk for sexual health. This prevents trauma and also com uh, potential complication related to injury. Regular monitoring is also another thing where you monitor changes in sexual health and seek medical advice if uh, issue arises. So early, early intervention is very key to prevent uh, progression and also complication. Maintain open communication. Discuss uh, sexual health and concerns openly with your partner and your healthcare provider so to improve your relationship dynamics and ensure the management of your sexual health uh, health issues. Preventing complication related to sexual health is very key, guys, where you get to a combination of proactive medical care, health lifestyle choices, and effective communication. So by implementing the preventive uh, measures, women can support their sexual health and also enhance their overall well-being and enjoy a uh, fulfilling uh, sexual lifestyle or sexual life. So maintaining sexual health is very integral and the well-being and quality of life of our women. Proactive management and uh, prevention strategies that uh, uh, are essential to avoid complications and enhancing sexual health. Key practices like regular medical checkups is very key where you get uh, to help yourself uh, to get uh, medical checkups to detect any issues early. Safe sex practices to protect against STIs and also on internet pregnancies. Health, uh, lifestyle changes, support over our well-being with a balanced diet, and also mental health outcomes to improve uh, our well-being. Effective stress and psychological management uh, with the address any, uh, uh, any stress and also mental health concerns to improve their sex uh, well-being. Also, effective stress, uh, effective open communication is, is another very key, uh, where you foster honest discussions uh, about your sexual health with your healthcare provider um, uh, and, and also sharing your relationship issues as much as possible. Health lifestyle choices where you need to support overall uh, health with a, a balanced diet, regular exercise and adequate sleep is also another very key. So as much as we are discussing this, it is very integrated. So that's why we need to by integrating the strategies in our, into these many strategies into our daily life, women can prevent potential health issues and also support the sexual health as much as possible and foster satisfaction and fulfilling relationships at the end of the day because that is very key. So proactive care and open dialogue are very crucial to maintain sexual health and also enhancing overall quality of life, guys, at the end of the day because that is our target at the end of the day. Guys, the channel is now been kind of if you have not subscribed, I want to encourage you to subscribe. Big topic. We're going to talk about reasons why women should have uh, sex regularly. 
So that's our topic for today. The, the channel is Nazvin. Guys, this is where we get to talk matters medical in a simple language which you can always understand uh, without necessarily using medical jargon. That's why you need to like the videos and also give us a nice comment below. And that way you get YouTube to recommend us to a larger population so that the such information as basic as uh, this can really uh, reach uh, a larger population. And that is what we always want for our our, our, our channel or for this uh, uh, channel of Nazvin. So regular sexual activity can offer a range of physical, psychological and relationship benefits for women. And I'm going to give you some of the reasons why you want to maintain regular sex life uh, and also its benefits in our, your life. So number one, benefits, why you want, we want to encourage you to have it regularly as a lady is about enhanced uh, cardiovascular health and when you talk about enhanced cardiovascular health the benefit of this is that regular sex can boost health uh, your, uh, the health of your heart and also by increasing the heart rate and improving uh, blood circulation similar to moderate exercise so like the exercise sex can also improve your health of your heart improved immune, of, uh, immune function so when we talk about redu uh, with, when we talk about uh, immune function we're talking about yeah the way your body can is able to fight diseases so benefit of this is that sexual activity can lead to higher levels of immunoglobin a or iga what you call iga which helps strengthen the immune system at the end of the day reduce stress and anxiety is also another thing where sexual activity triggers release of endorphins and also oxytocin which can reduce uh, the stress levels and enhance mood. So for enhanced mood and also uh, reduced uh, stress levels, we want you to we encourage you to do this uh, sex thing. Better sleep quality is also another benefit the, because the relaxation and also hormone release after sex can promote better sleep, aiding in the overall rest and also recovery at the end of the day. So if you want that better sleep, uh, quality, uh, get involved in sexual activity. Increased relationship satisfaction is also another thing, where regular uh, sexual activity can strengthen emotional bond and the intimacy between partners and contribute to a more fulfilling uh, relationship. So uh, they say as you practice it with your partner, you get that bond uh, to grow. So increased uh, relationship satisfaction because of the regular sexual activity can strengthen emotional bonds and also intimacy between partners contributing to a more fulfilling uh, relationships. Enhanced libido and also sexual function is another thing. The benefit of this is maintaining an active sex life can help uh, sustain sexual desire and also function, potentially reducing the issues like uh, a low libido at the end of the day. Pain relief. You are in a lot of pain, pain relief, yes, sex is a pain reliever. So the benefit of this, the sexual activity help alleviate certain, uh, certain types of pain, not all the pains, but it can help you manage your pain because of the release of what you call endorphins, which act as natural uh, painkillers. So pain relief is, all, is also a benefit of sexual activity like this. Improved self-esteem and also body image is also another thing. So for the benefit you get this, uh, healthy, healthy sex life can boost confidence and improve body image at the end of the day. So the, with this, they contribute to overall self-esteem and also well-being. Hormonal balance is another thing. As a benefit, the regular uh, sexual activity can help maintain hormonal levels and the estrogen and also especially when you talk about the estrogen and the progesterone in ladies, which are important for various uh, bodily functions as described in our previous uh, videos. So hormonal balance with regular sex help maintain balance hormones levels, especially including the estrogen and also progesterone, which are very important in the women's reproductive and also uh, other hormonal function in the body. Reduce the risk of certain diseases. So reduced risk of certain diseases. Some studies suggest that regular sexual activity may, uh, may be associated with uh, reduced risks like uh, breast cancer. This is research based, so you want to put that breast cancer away, uh, involve yourself in this safe uh, sex at the end of the day, ladies, it helps. So also, 
uh, strengthening of the pelvic uh, floor muscles is another way because sexual activity can help to tone and also strengthen pelvic uh, floor muscles which are very crucial for urinary and also sexual functions. This uh, can help you to strengthen the, strengthen the pelvic floor muscles which are very key for, uh, for your urination and also, and also so your sexual health enjoyment. Also enhanced cognitive function uh, with the regular, uh, being involved regularly in sex, it enhances uh, what you call cognitive function. Regular sexual activity may be linked to better cognitive function and also your mental health at the end of the day. Strengthening emotional bond is also another thing where regular sexual activity uh, and also emotional intimacy and connection with your partner, they foster deeper relationship at the end of the day. Increase, increasing, uh, increased longevity, if you want to live longer, this is research based, uh, uh, some researchers suggest that uh, regular sexual activity may be associated with the increased longevity and also overall uh, health. So regular sexual activity has numerous, numerous uh, benefits uh, which can contribute to physical and also emotional well-being and relationship satisfaction. So by maintaining uh, a healthy sex life, uh, women can experience improvements and all of the cardiovascular health, immune function, and also mood, and also overall quality of life. On the management of sexual health for women, managing sexual health effectively involves holistic approach, uh, integrates lifestyle choices, and this is integrated with medical, uh, with the lifestyle choices, medical care, and also emotional well-being. So it's not one aspect per se. So some of the comprehensive guides to managing sexual health for women is about regular checkups. That's very key, ladies, where you schedule your routine, uh, gynecological exams and screening. This include pap smears and also breast exams. That's very key, ladies. Uh, and this uh, make it a trend that you, if you don't know how to do self uh, breast exam, you get to learn it from the healthcare providers how to do it. Also, pap smear with your gynecologist and also with the other checkups is very key. At least, like pap smear, be to be done once a year is very key, uh, so that it gets uh, to help you as much as possible. Early detection of health issues that's why you want to do it, including uh, the STIs or sexual transmitted diseases, and the reproductive health problems can be helped at that particular point because we don't want you to get into a problem. Uh, and we are not able to resolve it uh, uh, at that particular at that particular point. Open communication with your partner is also very key. You, this one helps you to maintain honest and open dialogue with your partner about your sexual needs, desires, and also concerns. So the benefit of this comes about with enhances it enhances your intimacy and also reduces misunderstanding, contributing to a fulfilling relationship at the end of the day. Health uh, lifestyle choices. So this is very key, where you, especially on the diet, you consume a balanced rich uh, in fruits, a balanced diet rich in fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean proteins to support your overall health. So exercise is also another way you make a choice about it. Engage in regular physical activity to maintain a healthy weight and also improve cardiovascular system. Also sleep is also a choice you make about your health, where you ensure adequate sleep or rest to support you, especially at night, uh, to support your overall well-being and also mono balance. Uh, so with this kind of uh, choices, uh, you you get to make your heart to be uh, to be to be to be active and also health at the end of the day. Uh, so stress management is also another key thing where we look at. And with the stress, ma stress, stress, ma stress management, we talk about the action you take there is practice stress reduction techniques, uh, which I always mention about meditation. We talk about yoga. We talk about deep breathing exercises. The benefit of this is that it reduces the negative impact of stress on sexual health and enhance overall or your overall well-being at the end of the day. Safe sex practices, guys, is very key, where you you use protection to prevent sexually transmitted infection and unintended pregnancies at the end of the day. When we talk about uh, uh, addressing sexual health issues early, it's very key, See, by seeking the medical, the medical aspect of it with the healthcare provider to detect any differences early or to address any symptoms early, 
so so that you get uh, symptoms of this sexual dysfunction, pain or health concerns can be addressed at that particular point. Why do we insist on this addressing the uh, sexual health issues early? Timely treatment can prevent complications and improve sexual function at the end of the day. Manage hormonal health, ladies. So this uh, consult your healthcare provider if you experience symptoms of hormonal imbalances. And kindly, if you have not looked at uh, or checked our video on hormonal imbalance, we have it in our channel, Nazvin. Kindly look at the hormonal balance in ladies or women or in female. Uh, I did a video over that and uh, we talked something very important about hormonal balances. So when we talk about hormonal imbalance, you need to consult with the healthcare provider to, if you are experiencing the hormonal imbalances or menopause related uh, uh, issues. This supports, supports the hormonal balance at the end of the day and also uh, and alleviate, the level, uh, alleviate the symptoms as much as possible because now we have modern medicine which gives the best approach over to help you uh, get help over this. So uh, psychological support is also another thing where consider therapy or counseling if you're experiencing psychological issues that impact your sexual health. The benefit of this, it addresses the mental health concerns and improve uh, sexual or, or health well-being. Avoid substance abuse, guys. Limit or avoid alcohol or recreational drugs at the end of the day. The benefit of this, the negative effects of sexual health or effects on sexual health and overall physical health can really be avoided if you avoid those uh, substance abuse issues. Educate yourself also, that's very key. Uh, what, by watching Nazvin channel, we share diverse things which affect our health. Also, reading on materials which are approved and also which are very reliable, uh, can give you the good knowledge you want to get to understand about, uh, about yourself so that you get to address any, you get to know yourself and also when you are far from the being health as much as possible. So promote productive management by learning and also awareness of sexual health issues through staying informed of sexual facts, health, safe practices and available treatments which are very, uh, uh, very important at uh, that particular point. Regular monitoring is also another thing where you get to monitor changes in your sexual health and seeking medical attention as far as much as possible because early, early intervention can prevent progression and also complications at the end of the day. Protecting against injury is also another thing where you use appropriate protection during activities that may pose risk for to sexual health. So. By preventing trauma and also potential complications related to injuries, you get to protect against uh, those injuries, which can be very detrimental. Number, uh, number, uh, number 12, the chain is about all, always remember to address your relationship issues, guys. So work on resolving any conflicts in your relationship that might affect your sexual health. But this enhances uh, uh, emotional intimacy and also sexual satisfaction at the end of the day. Unfortunately, sometimes we have complications of poor sexual health management for women. Neglecting sexual health can lead to a very uh, range of physical, emotional, and also relationship complications. And some of the potential complications which can come about is about sexual dysfunction. And when we talk about uh, sexual dysfunction, we're talking about this, uh, the difficult such as uh, libido can be a big problem where arousal problems comes in or inability to achieve orgasm. And the impact of this can lead to a decreased sexual satisfaction and a strain in a relationship. So sexual dysfunction is number one. Uh, number two, complication which can come about is about pain uh, intercourse. And discomfort or pain during say, the sexual activity often related uh, to conditions like vaginismus and endometriosis can come about. So this can lead to decreased sexual uh, satisfaction and also strain in a relationship. So that is very key, very key to know that uh, complication. Sexual, act, uh, sexual transmitted in